Greetings, it's Ebony again, the cool, competent counselor with your Wednesday's wise tips. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about credit checks. Ooh, um, I'm deep in them with my seniors right now, and I felt like that would be a good topic because I think sometimes parents don't really know what credit checks are or that they even happen, and they should be happening. Um, your students should be getting a credit check at least one to two times a year. For the seniors, juniors, and sophomores, they should be getting it first semester and second semester. For the freshmen, they should be meeting with their counselor to do a credit check uh, second semester. Uh, and this is where the counselor sits with the student and goes over their transcript, whether they failed any classes that they need to make up in summer school or whether they've excelled in those classes and maybe they should bump themselves up to honors or AP classes the next year. This is where, though, that time with that counselor is just one-on-one. -on -one. Um, some counselors may have additional forms where that they collect based on uh, if this student is interested in careers or college, where they kind of help guide that student along the way. With the seniors, this is a very important time because this is where the counselor is telling them whether they're on track to graduate or whether they need some additional courses in order to make it to graduation. So parents, if you have a senior, make sure that you talk to them to see if they have met with their counselor to do a credit check or if those credit checks are planned um, because this is an important meeting. Um, also, the second reason for credit checks is, like I said, that one-on-one -on -one time. So. Regardless whether a senior or junior or sophomore or freshman, this is their time to be able to tell their counselor, hey, these are what my goals are, or I don't know what I want to do in the future. Many counselors have resources as far as um, career inventories that they can give information to the student and say, hey, you know, do this inventory based on your likes, dislikes. It'll come up with different careers that you might be interested in. So this is an important time for your student to be able to talk to their counselor. Um, as young adults, and I like to call my high schoolers young adults because sooner than they know it, they will be in that adult world. You have to teach them to advocate for themselves. So have that conversation like, hey, your counselor is going to be having credit checks soon. Make sure that you're addressing these things with him or her. The last thing about credit checks is that um, it helps that student be able to track their progress towards graduation. Uh, I've met with several seniors who have said, I don't even know how to read my transcript. And I'm like, what? Um, it's important that not only that student knows how to read the transcript, but also as the parent that you know how to read that transcript. So last week I talked about parent conferences. That's one of the things that you might want to say with that counselor, like, hey, I need to know how to read this transcript. What? How do I follow this um, so that they can sit down with you and tell you everything on that transcript and how it equals uh, the importance of your child finishing school on time? I think sometimes those conversations or the parents look at the transcript a little late and they never knew that the student was this far behind or that they could have gotten a different type of diploma. So it's important to know how to read that transcript. Um, many schools right now are doing those credit checks with the seniors. So if you have a senior, talk to them. Ask them, did your teacher, did your counselor have a, a credit check or do you know if the credit checks are planned? Um, this usually isn't a time where parents come because it's really kind of a one-on-one -on -one type thing with the student to kind of talk about everything, but they should be coming home and showing you their transcript or being able to tell you about what is on that transcript. So I'll just kind of go over those three points that I made for credit checks. Students should be getting them one to two times a year depending on their level in high school. The second thing is, is that this is their one-on-one -on -one time with their counselor to be able to talk about their future goals, their career goals, whether they want to take more rigorous classes, et cetera. And the last thing, it's to track the progress towards graduation. You wanna make sure